All right, Mr. Carson, what is media to you? Media, well, many levels of media. Media is like an onion. It's got many, many layers. Sort of like ogres. Ogres uh, have many layers as well. But getting back to media, media, to me, is the, pardon the pun, medium for uh, providing information. Uh, we have the news media, which today, of all days, is showing the inauguration of the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Uh, media is also a form of entertainment. Uh, it's an educational tool. I use uh, media to uh, demonstrate perhaps uh, different historical perspectives. I use it as PowerPoint to, uh, as a format for having the students take notes. Uh, I use media for the students to demonstrate their learning. So it has so many uses. And I've only peeled off the first layer of that onion. And I'm not even crying yet. How do you think it's changed over the years? Well, if I was to look at when I started teaching, I was out in a portable wing. We had uh, phone lines, but there was no internet. And that was in the uh, early to mid 90s. So there was no internet connection out to my uh, classroom, which was interesting. Uh, especially if you fast forward to now, where if I have a question, all I need to be doing, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I use media on a daily basis. You, know, you could even say on a uh, more than an hourly basis. I'm constantly using media to uh, find information um, and show that information to students. All right. How do you see other people using it? I suspect there are a lot of people that use it uh, more effectively than I do uh, because of my age and stage. Uh, I, you know, I, I've come a long way, but there are other people that, uh, you know, use media for a greater purpose. Uh, here's an example, um, and I, this is more technology than media, but um, I just learned how to use a snapshot this year. Sad. <laughs> All right. That's good, Carson. Thank you.